If you could outline, yeah, what are the three things? So there's a mathematical representation, a theory, and an interpretation. And how should we, again, as lay people, think of these things when it comes to specifically well, physics? As you say, I, I actually don't like the word interpretation in discussing foundations of physics. I, I don't think I ever tried to define it. I just think it's a word we shouldn't use. For me, a theory, a physical theory, it better, it, you better be able to say, okay, according to this theory, a, what fundamentally exists, right? What is there? Are there particles? Are there fields? What is the fundamental ontology? That is, what is it your theory postulates to exist? And second, how does it behave? What does it do, right? Normally you specify dynamics. That with some equations, some dynamics. The problem is that what is taught as quantum theory, if you got a, a book, a standard physics text called quantum mechanics or quantum theory, and you read it carefully, and you said, yeah, but what is really being postulated to exist here? You wouldn't find an answer in that book. They do, just don't address that question. What they give you is what I call a predictive recipe. They say, okay, if you want to make certain kinds of predictions, do this, calculate this, run this through this mathematical device, and what spits out the other end are some usually statistical predictions for the outcome of your experiment. That just isn't a theory because it doesn't, it doesn't answer these questions. This is often associated with an attitude called instrumentalism.